Ja nie pamiętam jak mi Jak pamiętam? Ja pamiętam jak This is the Mini Capsule Hotel. It's by Atelier Van Liso. It was created in 2002. And it is a budget hotel that doesn't require staff. And it sleeps six couples. And we will be sleeping here every night. We're taking reservations. Um, we're already full tonight. We have one space left for you. But um, the idea is that um, this project is called Never Everland. So when I think about Neverland, I think about Michael Jackson's ranch and a theme park for the rich and famous. And this is, if I was hosting a sleepover party on my ranch, I would want one of these for my friends to have the ultimate sleepover party in. And because there's so many artists that are debating whether or not to come to Basel in the height of the credit crunch, I thought it would be really nice to host friends and say, just come over to shower in the, in the main fair, luckily. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a really comfortable sleep. I did it last night. And um, well, this piece is, is about independence and about it's sort of a send-up of the corporate boutique hotel and this whole project Never Everland is a send-up of the corporate VIP oasis and the lounge and just the ridiculous uberness that people spend um, to invest in branding versus content and this is the reverse. I mean we have layers that we can look at here between um, the Jackson foreclosure of the ranch and the credit crisis and the market crash mm -hmm. and this is sort of almost um, a dystopian utopian look at just the world we're in right now, you know, and, and design has become, for the first time, we're right beside the Mesa, we're at the same level as Unlimited, so if we're going to be unlimited in our thinking, then we have to use design as sculpture and punctuate real exhibitions rather than play home decor. Mm. So I wanted to sort of elevate the dialogue between design and art and sculpture and try to blur the lines a little bit by having pieces that would really provoke us to think differently about design and look at it more as sculpture than functional objects. So, now is this um, an addition piece, just out of curiosity? Um, like, this is something that would be produced? Would, would um, be the, the, uh, this is a unique piece, this one, but this is you know, certainly available, uh, it can be reproduced. Um, actually, Evan Lisa does unique pieces and additions. Um, there's another piece called the Sensory Deprivation Skull, which will look at in a second and that is an addition of 12. Um, I think the idea of utilitarian, utopian, dystopian sculptures and making things accessible to people is a big part of Atelier Van Lieshout's practice. It started out, it's an artist, one man, Yu Van Lieshout, but he decided to create a design collective and in the early 90s, you know, pre Andrea Zatel, pre anybody else, he was mm -hmm. actually called himself a carpenter and he did work on demand, so he did tables, desks, uh, sinks, um, kitchens, you know, he, he looked at design as sculpture quite literally and was, you know, a work for hire carpenter for many, many years. And that's why he established the, the, um, the collective the, in, in Rotterdam, actually, in Lisa, even though it's really one artist's vision. I mean, he starts off with paintings and drawings and doodles and sketches, which become full life size installations. Um, he hosted a piece called AVLville for a year. He had an independent autonomous free state on the property of his studio which w operated independently as a separate unit. They had their own food, they had their own farm, they had their own um, slave city if you will. Um, and he's got a pro another project called Slave City which is really looking at sort of the way that we operate in our society and how things function. He's very interested in systems. Good night. Shop good. Adios. And if you find the right guy, you can lock the door until he comes back with us. 